What's up superheroes? Let's hop into Final Cut and show you how to edit the laser eyes effect. First, using the shortcut command M, add a marker at the point where you want the laser to begin shooting out the subject's eyes. Add a second marker at the point where you want the laser to be fully extended. Then, add a third marker at the point where the subject has completed shooting the laser. Add the fourth marker after the third, the same distance the second marker is from the first. Head on over to the Video Inspector panel, scroll down, and click on the plus sign under Tracker. Move the tracking grid over the subject's eye and track the movement of their eye. It is only important to have tracking data in between the first and third marker. Delete the tracking data after the third marker. Head on over to Titles and Generators and add the beam generator on top of your first shot, spanning from the first marker to the fourth marker. Set the blending mode to screen. Next, under the generator parameters, Change the glow to 1, and then adjust the size and color to your liking. With the beam generator selected, select the transform tool. Now, using the transform parameters in the video inspector panel, move the X position of the anchor point to either the far left or right side of the frame, depending on which direction the laser is traveling. Leave a little space between the anchor point and the end of the beam. Position the anchor point over the eye. You may need to zoom in for a more precise adjustment. Next, click on the tracker options drop down Make sure that your tracker source is on the base shot and select the tracker you previously created. Make sure that under the tracker parameters, the behavior is offset from the tracker and the tracker is only applied to position. Now adjust the rotation to the desired angle you want your beam to travel. Add the graduated mask effect to the generator and position the center and target points on either side of the eye. Add a draw mask to the generator and create a small rectangle on the side of the subject's eye opposite to the beam. Feather the mask so the edges are not harsh. Move one frame left from the first marker and add a keyframe on position and control points. Then, go to the second marker and extend the laser beam to your desired point. Now, go to the third marker and move the draw mask a bit forward so that the laser beam slowly penetrates the object. To make this laser penetration more realistic, we added a composite from Footage Crate. Link in the description and keyframe the position to move with the end point of the laser. Next, move to the fourth marker and drag the two control points from the eyes and close the mask, meeting at the end point. Now, duplicate the beam generator by holding down Option and clicking and dragging down. Rename the duplicate underneath the beam generator to Beam Glow. Add a Gaussian blur and increase the saturation. Before we finish up this effect, comment down below what you want to see from us next. This video idea was actually suggested by a subscriber. Shout out Random Vids Vince 8117. Now, back to your original beam generator, add the color wheels effect and increase the luminosity. Add the heat effect, decrease the colorization to zero, and adjust the rest of the parameters to your liking. There is one more secret ingredient which will take this effect from amateur to Hollywood level VFX. This secret ingredient is lens flares. In order to create stunning and realistic VFX, you have to keep in mind how the effect would interact with the environment and the camera if it were real. If you actually had laser eyes, it would create a lens flare in the camera. So adding one to our effect will make our end product that much more realistic. At Render Effects, our go-to method of creating lens flares is a plugin for Motion VFX called M Flare 2. We have a link in the description. Add an adjustment layer on top of everything, spanning from the first marker to the third marker. If you do not yet have an adjustment layer installed, we have linked a free download in the description of this video. Find the M Flare 2 folder in the effects browser and select from a huge diverse library of ready-made presets based on real-life anamorphic flares. Here, I'll use the preset called Horizon Glimmer. Track the lens flare to the movement of the subject's eyes using the powerful built-in tracker. Then adjust position, scale, color, brightness, and other parameters. You can even customize the individual elements inside the flare. For the final and most important step, sound. For this scene, we used Epidemic Sounds, which has an enormous library of great sound effects and music. There's a link in the description for a free trial. And now you can enjoy your finished product. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell, and if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy our tutorial on energy eyes in Final Cut Pro. And for awesome creative apparel and filmmaker gear, check out digitalhustlers.store. And use promo code HOLIDAY for 20% off store-wide through the end of December. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.